Hello everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigator and it is today market update for January 28, 2021. First of all, let's take a look on the uh, the Dow. Uh, uh, the Dow, it, uh, yesterday the market it pushed it back down right into the support and today they push it back up, tried to fill up the gap, they couldn't hold it and then they pulled it back down again in the last minute. So right now, as long as it still stay above the trend line here, the market is still holding on to the upside, but if they drop below the trend line here, and then we have to pay more attention. So in the short term, we have to play a little bit defense on of the indices. And look at the uh, Russell 2000 uh, right now, they still hold on to the support line here. So it's important for the market to continue to push it back up. They have to stay above the trend line here. If they drop below here, then we were looking for the next destination. So let's see where the market doing tomorrow, and then we can uh, give you more detail. Uh, if you look at the uh, uh, QQQ uh, today, it try to run up, come back, they hit back the resistance, could, couldn't hold on to it, and then they slam it down again. But right now they are still in a sideways. So the same thing, we have to see it by tomorrow, uh, what they want to do here. The uh, SBY, it also, uh, they found a support yesterday, they put you back up, they tried to fill up the gap here, couldn't do it, and then the seller is still coming in and puts it back down. So technically, in the short term, uh, we uh, want to make sure that they not drop below this area here. If they drop below this area here, then we have to pay more attention for SP500. Mm -hmm. So at this point, they still hone up. Let's see tomorrow, they'll be able to come up and tap the gap and fill up the gap or not. So that's very important, okay? and. Um, if you look at the uh, E-mini uh, SP500 uh, after our uh, the market it tried to find a support at this level here. So we're looking for some kind of rebound and then we uh, to this level, okay, if they can hold up above the 3800 and then they have more potential to put it back up. But if they fail to work out the 3800 level here, they roll down and then we start to pay more attention for the downside, okay? So um, if you look at the, uh, uh, if you're in uh, our live trading room today, so the market, it, when it opened, we know that the market had already uptrend. So when the market opened, we, uh, all our members take a long trade from here to here. Okay, so for the first hour, we make a 20 point again. So for the year, uh, $1,000, this one is the, a short term income that we are doing every day in our live trading room. So we analyze the short term for the uh, future market so that we can make some quick income for the day. And after that, we will analyze a lot of stuff and the member uh, bring up a lot of stuff so that we can analyze together so that we can see where they're headed to so that we can make a trade and stay in a trade longer and make more profit potential. So if you look at the, uh, a lot of stuff um, uh, that we have been follow uh, on the weekly market forecast, and you can see that uh, the sector XLRE, okay, which is the real estate builder, okay, they, they, after the run up here, they hit to the resistance, so they go sideways right now. So let's see that they need to build uh, some momentum before they can turn around. Uh, a lot of stock in that sector, like uh, Toll Brother, uh, they shoot up, they still hold up tight there. Uh, KB Home, uh, KB home, it still uh, hold up at this level very tight too. So, to those tokens, they have hold run, but they didn't want to come out. So it means that they will go sideways and find a way to shoot it back up. And uh, the, sh the next sector is the uh, IBB, okay, that's the bio sector. After the run up, people took some profit. So when they break out, you know, sometimes they come back and retest to see if they can hold on to it. So the last couple of days, people took some profit today again, they tried to put it back up, could, couldn't hold on, so they uh, go down. So a lot of talk in this sector that we look at over the weekend, it's like Gillette, okay, they run through resistance, so they pull back down. Um, uh, Amgen, uh, this morning, they tried to shoot it back up, and the seller come in and step back down. So when you see a lot of big cap stock here, they shoot it back up, but they couldn't hold on to it. So we have to play a little bit defense for the short term there. Okay, uh, so you have to pay attention 
and this one here they come back hit the resistance couldn't go through it and then they slam down again and a lot of talk on the electric vehicle clean energy they uh, still hold on to it even though they go up the seller coming in but they try to hang on to the upside so they are still waiting for Biden to you know, put more money into this sector here so let's see but uh, you know noting it goes straight up okay you have to be careful you know, it's a little bit overbought but the momentum right now is still in the upside and a bunch of uh, renewable energy and those kind of stuff they do go sideways okay they're not coming down not coming up so they are still in a sideways correction right now and a lot of uh, big cap stock that we have to pay attention like Apple okay they are losing momentum to the upside they should have back up but they could hold on so in the short term they are in a sideways correction also uh, TSLA Tesla it also should it back up before earning after earning they drop but they hold on to the, uh, the moving average here so let's see tomorrow they probably try to push it back up to fill up a gap or they have a upward upper support trend line here as long as they still stay above there they still pull it but if they drop below here then we have to uh, pay more attention um, uh, Microsoft is the, it's, uh, very strong after earning but they also losing momentum so when it shoot up people are getting scared right now so people start taking profits so that's why we have to pay attention to Facebook they also ha have a hard time to break through the resistance here so they slam it down again um, uh, a lot of stuff from uh, semiconductor sector is also losing momentum. They break below the support line here, so those stuff that still have trouble, uh, and then they are still in the correction cycle right now. And um, and the Visa, Mastercard, okay, they drop down, and today they put it back up a little bit after earning. So Mastercard, uh, after they found a support here, and then they put it back up. They have a good earning same thing like visa okay they are now earning after the market close so uh, but they are still uh, in the in the sideways here okay because the trend is still down until they're able to break out and then go higher okay so uh, today in our light trading room so after I finish the, the light trading room get out and take another quick trade Okay, make some profit for myself to so total net profit for today at $1,400. And um, so right now, uh, in the short term, the market did, uh, try to find the support to put it back up. And then let's see, yeah, the market did be able to uh, push it back up and then retest the, uh, the higher level uh, overnight, okay, mm -hmm. or not. And we will find out very important level at 3800 level here. Okay, so um, that's all I have for you today and this week. And then let's see how the market doing tomorrow. And then uh, we will continue to analyze and uh, inform you. So make sure you sign up with the YouTube so that every time we have a new video, we can alert you so you can see where the market heading to. And if you would like to learn how to understand the financial market, how to read the chart, how to analyze the chart by using a modern technical analysis, you can check out our website at stocknavigators.com for more information. Again, thank you for, for watching and uh, good luck and have a nice weekend. See you on a weekly market forecast. Take care, everyone.